Airbrush tattoo business, Italian ice cart, cotton candy and kettle corn business, selling water bottles on the side of the road, nightclub. Hey, this is Dan from Aqua Bar and Lounge in Spring Hill. They do the Harlem Irish pub. Our food is double delicious. Recording studio. Affiliate marketing. And several other businesses I'm too embarrassed to mention. The point is, out of 14 businesses, only one made me a millionaire. One business model, and it made me a millionaire multiple times over. And believe it or not, you do not need to sling silicone or alcohol to make money. In fact, that was the least amount of money I made. Plus, it was... Now, I'm not saying I'm a millionaire to brag. That's a lie. But I have a good reason to say it because I don't want you to waste time with business models that are not designed for success. And most aren't. There's only one business model that I'm aware of that is designed to make you a lot of money with a low amount of risk, a low amount of BS, and relatively quickly. I call this the unicorn model. No, 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 more like this. Now this business model requires just three elements to be considered a unicorn, which I will share with you in just a moment. And you're gonna wanna stick around so that you can still afford to buy a brand new Mac when they cost $17 million because inflation is out of control. I know this because not only have I created multiple million dollar offers with this framework, but I've also owned a ton of businesses that have made dick comparatively. Now, there are three elements, which I'm about to share with you in just a moment, that if your business meets these three criteria, the chances of you becoming a millionaire relatively quickly without stressing yourself out and involving a huge amount of risk becomes extraordinarily higher than whatever crap you're doing right now. Now, before I melt your face with astonishing amazement, before I spackle you with spectacular information, I'd like to quickly mention why it's so important to become a millionaire right now. Now, this is an article that came out in Time Magazine. Why so many people with six-figure salaries are living paycheck to paycheck? Take a look at this. In December 2022, 51% of people who earn more than $100,000 a year reported living paycheck to paycheck. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth is a hundred grand, heck, even a million dollars isn't that much money anymore. Here's another one. Why a six figure salary no longer means you're rich. In fact, a hundred thousand dollars a year in 1950 would be equivalent today to $1.3 million a year, which means by 2030, if you're not making at least multiple six figures a year, you're not going to be able to enjoy life for shit unless you enjoy living in a shack three hours outside of city limits where your only hope at marriage is the 87 pound farm girl who somehow is more attracted to her horse than you. That said, I'm going to draw some shit and show you how to solve this problem. So you're not stuck with Olga, the horse girl. All right. I have really good AC and my nips got cold. So I had to put on a shirt. Let's get going. What is the first requirement of a unicorn business? High income, high income. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that if you were to build out a graph of businesses and you were to say, okay, well, uh, here's one that makes a little income. Here's what makes more income, a little bit of income, a lot of income. You're going to find all these businesses that make not that much money, you know, like, like ice cream shops, right? Ice cream. Why? You only make a couple bucks per ice cream cone or car detailing car detailing. You say, well, wait a minute, Dan, I can make a thousand dollars a day detailing call cars. Yeah, but that's only a thousand dollars a day. At some point you're going to want to make more and you're going to want to stop having to deal with, uh, spending all day killing yourself detailing these cars. And so we need to look for a business model that makes a ton of money. All right. Not that makes a little bit of money. And look, at the end of the day, there's certain businesses that make high income and certain businesses that don't. So one thing I did was I said, okay, I'm just not even going to consider businesses that don't make a lot of money, period. I mean, it's that simple. Like, oh, I want to own a restaurant. Oh, I want to own an ice cream shop. What? And I did that too. I had, I literally had cotton candy stand. I had uh, uh, two, two restaurants. At some point I realized I'm never going to get rich doing this. And you say, well, Dan, what if you own 50 restaurants and you have a franchise? Sure. Call me in 30 years when you've built 50 restaurants and you have a franchise and you waited 30 years to be a millionaire. 
call me. I, I ain't waiting that long. I'm just not doing it. Okay. So first off, first and foremost, the business has to make high income. The second thing is low B S. What do I mean by that? Well, look, you have an ice cream shop. You're going to have to deal with employees. You're going to have to deal with health code. You're going to have to deal with licensing. You're going to have to deal with a brick and mortar location. Car detailing. You're going to have to clean, you know, dog hair and friggin' fart stains off of seats. It's, it's BS, man. It's, it's a ton of BS. And so I said, okay, no business that has a ton of BS because then I'm not going to want to do it. And it's, it's just going to, my, it's going to drain my life. What's the point of being rich if my life is drained? So I put low BS. The third, and I know this already seems like a unicorn. The third is, and dare I say it, short time frame. What this means is you make high income with low BS and you're able to do it quickly. Now I know this seems crazy. Like, like how would you be able to do that? But the truth is there is one business model that I know of that can meet all three of these. And I call it digital problem solving. What does that mean? Digital problem solving. If you think about it, every single product that you could possibly think of is a solution to a problem. Meaning, if you are hungry, what do you do? You go to a restaurant. The problem is you're hungry. The solution is you go to a restaurant, okay? What if your home is cold because your heater broke on your AC system? That's a problem. You call the AC company, they come and fix it. Problem, solution. Wait a minute, Dan. What about products like fidget spinners? That's not like, a, it's not solving a problem. Yes, it is. You're bored, so you buy a fidget spinner. Nobody said it wasn't a terrible life choice to buy a fidget spinner and waste hours upon end fidgeting instead of, you know, doing something to, to make your life better, but it's still a solution to a problem. Now, with that said, solving problems in real life sucks. It is hard. It has tons of BS and it takes a long time because there's lots of friction in the real world. But in the digital world, that friction goes down. And that is why we want to solve the same types of problems but digitally. So I will give you an example. If you think about it, Home Depot, take an example. Home Depot is a great example of why the do-it-yourself market is so big. In other words, if you go to Home Depot, you will notice that it really is for people who want to learn how to fix and create projects in their home. It's not for contractors, there's a contractor section, but at the end of the day, it's really for homeowners. And so, if you think about it, what is the biggest market in almost any category? It's do-it-yourselfers. And see, this was a lesson I had to learn the hard way, because when I first got started with a digital offer, I did a done-for-you service. And the reason I did a done-for-you service is because when I owned my restaurant, I had to figure out how to get customers and I used social media to get them. And I learned how to solve my own problem of getting customers for my local restaurant. So I started, when I sold that bar, I started a service where I did Facebook ads and social media management for bars, restaurants, local businesses, and I got them customers. And realtors as well, realtors was one I did. And I would charge $1,500, $2,000, $3,000 a month now you say, well, wait a minute, Dan, this sounds great, right? Like you're, you, that, that, that sounds fantastic. And it, it, yeah, it, it was until I got about 10 clients and I realized, wait a minute, now it's a lot of BS. <laughs> so now I'm stuck at 24, maybe 30 grand a month. And it's now it's, now it's a lot of BS. And I want to make more than that. And so that's when I realized that just like Home Depot, the do-it-yourself market is huge. And so I started creating digital products to teach the do-it-yourselfers, the people that wanted to learn how to do their own digital marketing, I taught them how to do what I was doing. And the first year I did that, we made 2.9 million in our business. Huge difference. The BS was lower. Believe it or not, we had hundreds of customers and that was less work 
than 10 clients. And the reason for that is if I record a video, I've only had to record that video once. I can sell it 10 times. I can sell it a thousand times. I can sell it 10,000 times. It's the same amount of BS, same amount of work because all I'm doing is making more money when people buy it. I'm not doing anything addition, I'm not doing anything additionally. I just make the video, market it, sell it, boom. And so that is why I love digital problem solving because you're able to make a ton of money with low BS in a relatively short amount of time. Right now, I have a membership site that does over $120,000 a month. And I make the videos, I never have to make them again. And I do one call a month and that's it. It's a really low, low amount of BS on my end. And every month we grow and I make more money. And so it fits in to this. So whether you want to do some sort of digital product like I don't know, online courses, membership sites, coaching programs, teaching people how to solve their own problems. The do-it-yourself market is a goldmine, $350 billion industry in online education. Now, if you are a newbie, if you don't have those skills yet, that's fine. You can start out with a done-for-you service. That's where I started. And you'll make good money if you succeed. And you'll you'll get your feet wet and you'll learn how to be a teacher because you'll be solving your own problems. And that's what we do. That, that is what entrepreneurs really do, in essence, is they solve their own problems and then they create solutions for other people to solve their problems as well. The real world is harder. The digital world is easier. And when you tap into the done, uh, do-it-yourself market, it's even easier. So if you're wondering, okay, great, what type of offer could I create digitally to help solve people's problems? I left a link in the description. I have a free course on how to create amazing digital offers that sell. It's a five-part course. It's hosted on Notion, and you can click the link below in the video to check it out and get it. It's free, and so is all my YouTube videos. So make sure you subscribe and all that, and watch the next one. See you soon.